guys welcome back to our channel this is Bay of Feel I'm cooking and couponing if you are new here welcome and if you are not subscribed yet please click that subscribe button below and click that uh, notification bell at the same time so that you will be notified every time I upload a video okay so our topic for today is all about my tips and tricks on how to get a lot of points during the beauty event last beauty event i did pretty good i always have a goal every beauty event so last time uh, my goal is to uh, get up to uh, 400 uh, 000 points so i started at 40 000 and uh, at the end i ended up finishing to uh, 456 thousand points so that's 456 dollars so stay tuned and i'm going to share to you what are my strategies my tips and tricks on how to stock a lot of points during the beauty event okay first i did my research so i have some index card here so i don't want to give you guys a wrong information so i'm just gonna read some of it here and try to explain it as we go along so bear with me <laughs> so let's start so our first question is about beauty event so what is beauty event this is a walgreens uh, promotion once sometimes it's once a month sometimes once every two months so it depends so but the promotion is you must spend 25 dollars worth of beauty product that is after the manufacturer coupons after the registered reward but before the uh, store coupons that is uh, like the ibc uh, coupons that it and the uh, percentage the we get on our uh, walgreens account and some other uh, threshold booster points that is on our uh, walgreens account what are all the beauty products that included to this event so i have the list here i don't want to give you guys the wrong information so i write it down so the beauty products include cosmetics cosmetic tools skin care hair care nail care body wash or bar hand soap cologne and perfume and this is the products that is not included on our beauty event so men's grooming men's shape products women's shape product deodorant oral care baby wash lotion baby hair care so those are the items that it that is not included on our uh, beauty event so do not get those because they're not included on the event okay so before the beauty event like uh, maybe three days or two days before the beauty event usually we're gonna get a digital perk that is the uh, spend $25 and you get 7,000 in points usually if there's a digital like that there's a paper version of it so on my case where I go to a shop at Walgreens uh, they don't have the beauty consultant so I just uh, screenshot some of the pictures that uh, they post in uh, instagram and thanks to you guys who are uh, uploading uh, the screenshots in uh, the instagram i appreciate it very much and i just uh, screenshot that one and uh, show it to my cashier because they already know me there so they always are uh, nice to me and they allow me to uh, just give the screenshot and they scan it for me so I every time I shop there I always uh, get the 14,000 uh, points every time I spend $25 during the beauty event and uh, they stock together the paper version and the digital uh, uh, perk on our uh, account they stock together that's why you always get 14,000 uh, points or $14 when you spend 25 and on the next transaction you will get uh, you will do again the it's like every second transaction you're gonna hit the beauty so that means you have extra 5,000 so the your next transaction it's or uh, instead of 14,000 
you're gonna get 19,000 points. So that's $19 back, guys. So it's like you're buying all the products that you're getting during the beauty event for free or plus money maker. If you have your uh, registered reward or coupons to lower your out of pocket, that will be great. And the next questions will be how to find beauty consultant. If your uh, store don't have a beauty uh, consultant, so here is the list again. I uh, did my research. I don't want to tell you uh, wrong information. So first you go to walgreens.com, click on menu, scroll down and find, find the store, then click filters, click retail and beauty, click the beauty consultant and mini makeover. Then once you uh, enter your zip codes, bring, it will bring all the stores that has the beauty consultant. So you will find there where is the store that has a beauty consultant. And I think recently you have to spend $25 first and before you get that, uh, the beauty package that has the uh, paper uh, booster that's that you can use for the beauty event and that paper booster as well as the digital uh, booster it will uh, you can use it multiple times like within that beauty event like for that three days uh, like for example this month so you can use it as many times as you want from June 11 to June 13. So do not give it away to them because you can use that paper coupons multiple times. Okay? So now that we all know what is beauty event, what are the products that we can get during the beauty event and what are the products that we don't have to get during this beauty event in order to get the 14,000 points back or 19,000 points back. And we all know already where to find the beauty consultant and what to do. So the main topic for today is I want to share you guys how I do my beauty event. Beauty event for me is a good thing and I always I look forward for this event, you know, so I always prepared myself for that. So first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna share to you guys my tips and tricks on how to uh, stock up your uh, points. This is the time where you can really uh, stock a lot of points on your accounts. So like for example, last uh, beauty event, I started on uh, 40,000 and my goal is to uh, at least get up to 400,000. That is $400. And I did that for that three days. I'm using three accounts though I'm using mine my husband and my sister thank you to my sister because she let me use her account too so yeah so I'm gonna uh, show you guys seven tricks and tips on how to take advantage on the beauty event all right guys the first uh, tip that I'm gonna share to you the tip number one is start saving registered reward two weeks before the beauty event. Yes, I start saving register reward and I don't use them because I wanna uh, save them during the beauty event. So why did I say two weeks before the beauty event? Because usually the registered reward, they are good uh, for two weeks. So like for example, uh, this month, so I started saving my registered rewards since last Thursday because from uh, last Thursday and to the beauty event, it's exactly two uh, weeks. So I have a lot already because I took advantage on that Maybelline uh, promotion where, where you uh, buy two and you get a uh, $5 registered reward. So these are mostly uh, uh, from that Maybelline uh, promotion. So I save, I'm saving all of this for the beauty event. So that the tip number one so start saving your uh start saving and getting those uh product that giving a uh, registered rewards uh, at least two weeks 
two weeks before the uh, beauty event okay so let's go move on to the number two tips so gather some coupons that you can use for the events so the same thing with the registered reward i always look on uh the coupons because uh, I just ordered coupons online. I saw some coupon, uh, coupon fairy they called on Instagram. There's a lot of them. So you guys can just uh, go look on Instagram and see which one you feel to uh, ask or buy uh, your coupons. So um, like on the registered reward, I also uh, look uh, in advance on the coupons that has a, a long expiration uh, date. I want to uh, get uh, those coupons that I can use during the event that is, is still uh, good to use during the event. Like, uh, for example, the CoverGirl or no, that the Curel. Curel has a long expiration date and it's still good to use for the beauty event. So I have those a long time ago. So, yeah, just to uh, make sure that you get some coupons that you can use along with your uh, registered reward that way you don't have to pay a lot of cash or out of pocket okay so our tips number three is check your rebates app like mostly my i use uh, ibotta and check out 51 saving star and fetch so it's good thing if you know uh, if there's uh, like beauty product that you can buy at Walgreens and you can get uh, rebates too. So it's like uh, addition to your uh, savings when you have uh, rebates like that. So, sorry, excuse me. So that's the tip number three. You have to check your rebates apps. And if you don't have your uh, rebates app yet, you can. I highly recommend that I bought a rebates. So uh, if you don't have it yet feel free to uh, sign up and if you want to use my referral code it's I'm gonna put it on here on the screen and uh, you will get a little bit of points and at the same time you will I'll get a little bit of points too by using my if you use my referral code so I will thank you in advance for that so thank you so much so let's move on to our number four tips so grab items that is on promo or sale that is giving back rewards or points so when I shop during the beauty events I always get first you know the first two days I always get the beauty products that uh, giving uh, points or registered rewards or that is on promotion that is on sale I don't get the one that is not on sale because I don't want to pay that much so yeah always get the one that is on promo it's on sale that is giving points or giving you back a registered reward that way it will double your savings and it will double your uh, points back okay I will explain to you uh, later about uh, the other items that you really need okay so we're gonna move on to number five grab items that has a big value coupons paper or digital so i do like that too during the beauty event because if you have uh, coupons a big value coupons you have to use them because it helps you uh not to have or not to pay a lot during uh and when you pay on the cashier so um, I always uh, grab those coupons that has a big value and I want to use them that way because uh, you can still use points if you want to use points if you already have $25 worth on uh, your uh, coupons and registered reward and the rest you can pay in points. So you can still use points even though it's still spent as long as your uh, coupons and registered reward is total $25 or $27 or $28, but not below $25, okay? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, all right. 
Number six. This this I already uh, explained this uh, in the beginning, but you can screenshot that paper poster or paper uh, coupon. You can screenshot it on uh, Instagram. A lot of uh, uh, couponer uh, post a lot of uh, deals and uh, that uh, uh, paper uh, booster, screenshot paper booster. So uh, some of the store won't accept it or won't, won't, would not uh, scan it, but some of the store will scan it. Like for example, on my case, my store, it's always, they always scan it for me and I can always use it multiple times for three days. And then, um, yeah, like I said, that you can always get that paper uh, booster uh, to a Walgreens store that has a beauty consultant. So just find out if your store has a beauty consultant okay and then the tip number seven so this is the last tip i'm gonna share you guys i'm gonna share what i'm what i do during the beauty event too so we all have our uh preference you know the product that we need so it's up to you if you wanna get the product that you need later or during the beauty event so i always get my stuff that i need during the beauty event but i always do it at the last day so like for example i want to buy biologic but usually they never go on sale and we don't have any coupons for that always i i can't i never see a biologic coupons ever so every beauty event i always make sure that i grab the stuff that i really need that way because you always get back uh like fourteen thousand or fourteen dollars or nineteen dollars right so that means it's you got that product that you really need for very cheap or maybe free so it's up to you guys if you wanna uh get the product that you really need during the beauty event or just do it the later you know you can use your points that you got from beauty event to pay for it and not pay with your own money so it's really up to you guys so uh this is already long guys so i think this is it for me those are my seven uh tips and tricks to you and yeah like i said i started 40,000 last time and i ended up 456 but you know usually my goal is just around 400 you know i i want to get like 400,000 during the beauty event so i'm gonna read again the beauty tips and tricks that's from me okay I, everybody has a uh, different uh strategies during the beauty event so so number one, start saving your registered reward two weeks before the beauty event. Then gather some coupons that you can use for the event. Check the rebates apps. That is Ibotta, Saving Star, check out 51, Fetch Rewards, or whatever rebates you have. And if you haven't signed up yet, please use my referral code. Thank you so much. And then number four, Grab items on promo or on sale that is giving back rewards or points. Number five, grab items that has a big, big value, coupons, paper, or digitals. Number six, don't forget to screenshot your uh, paper uh, version of that beauty event booster or the if you can get the paper uh, booster that, that is better, okay? And then the last one will be <laughs> optional. It, it's up to you. But I always get the items that I really need at the last day of the beauty event. So this is it for me, guys. So hopefully you guys have a successful beauty event. And this is the time that we can really uh, boost up our uh, points on our accounts that you can use whatever you want to buy in the store in the future so you can always use your points to pay on what you want what you need so so hope this helped guys and please give this uh, video a thumbs up 
and share and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so thank you so much guys so i wish you all the good luck and happy beauty event couponing so thank you so much guys i'll see you next time bye god bless